Coupling refers to the degree of dependency between different classes. Um, so high coupling means that classes are tightly in interconnected, making it difficult to modify or uh, maintain them independently. Whereas low coupling indicates loose connections between classes, allowing for greater flexibility and ease of modification. If classes are tightly coupled, then modifying one class could break the other, which could break the whole program. So first of all, let's consider an example of uh, where we have high coupling, and then we will improve this example by reducing the coupling. So let's first of all create a, a bad example. So we're going to create a uh, email sender class. And within this email sender class, we're going to have a, a method called send email, which takes a string message and we're going to have some email sending logic such as connecting to the uh, email server um, uh, authenticating all that kind of stuff uh, but we're not going to worry about that we're just going to log sending email and then we're just going to concatenate the message okay so then let's let's say that we have some sort of e-commerce application where a user can can place orders they can order certain items and once they've ordered an item they get an email to say that the order was placed successfully so let's create this order class and let's give it a, a method called place order and then we have some place order logics and this kind of logic will be inserting the order into the database uh, reducing the uh, stock quantity of items that have been ordered, processing payments, all that kind of stuff, but we don't need to worry about that. And then once all that's been done, we can send a um, email to the user to say that the order has been placed successfully, reassuring the uh, user. So we can send email and give them a message to say order placed successfully okay then let's simulate uh, let's simulate a user actually um, placing an order so we can say order equals new order and we can say order dot place order okay so let's run this program. And as we can see, the order is placed successfully and the user gets an email to say that the order is placed successfully. So this all looks okay, but in this example, the order class is tightly coupled to the email sender class because it directly creates an instance of the email sender class. Okay, we're, we're calling the new keyword. This means that we're we're directly creating an instance of email sender, which makes the order class dependent on the implementation details of email sender. And any changes to the email sender class may require modifications to the order class. Okay, so uh, if we make a change to email sender, we may have to also make modifications to the order class. Okay, and it just means that we may you know if we change one class and also have to change another class it means that we are risking introducing bugs into this class we'd rather not have to modify this class if we change the implementation details of email sender it should just be all contained within here we shouldn't it shouldn't affect the order class so let's now discuss how we can reduce the uh, coupling so to, to reduce coupling we can introduce an abstraction or an interface between the order class and the email sender class and this allows the order class to interact with the email sender class through an abstraction or an interface making it easier to replace or modify the implementation of email sender without affecting or uh, the order class okay so if that doesn't make too much sense uh, we will we'll go through an example now and it should make more sense so let's create an interface called iNotification uh, Service and 
all classes that implement this interface should have a send notification uh, method which takes a uh, message string so now what we can do is we can go into email sender and we can say that email sender implements notification service okay and what we can do is if you can press uh, if you press command and then dot you can implement the interface uh, on windows that's, I'm guessing that's control and dot and what we can do is we can copy and paste this send email logic into this send notification method and we can get rid of send email okay now in our order class we can see that we we have an issue now because the send email class doesn't exist so what we could do is call uh, send notification but you can see that this order class is still tightly coupled to this email sender uh, for and the problem with this is it's not very flexible because for example let's say that the user um, wants to be uh, sent a text message once the order has been placed successfully there's no way of doing this because the email sender is, is just hard coded into this placeholder method there's no way of switching out the way that we uh, send a notification to the user so let's actually make that possible so what we can do is we can add a private field private read only uh, field of type i notification service and we'll call this notification service we'll create a constructor so whenever we create a new order object we have to pass in the notification service that we want to use and we can set that notification service uh, field here and then what we can do in the place order method rather than having this email sender we can just call notification service dot send notification and of course what we can do here is uh, we can pass this a message of order placed successfully successfully okay so let's have a look how this now uh, works so we have an error here because we actually need to pass a notification service to any uh, order objects when we are creating order objects so we can pass um, an email sender and then place the order and as you can see we are sending email order placed successfully okay so let's say that the user wants to uh, have a notification by text message so SMS so we can create an SMS sender uh, and then what we will do this needs to implement the I notification service interface we can implement the method and what we can do is we can just say uh, SMS message and then we can just concatenate on the message so now what we can do if if um, the user wants to be notified by SMS we can just say new SMS sender now the reason we can switch out uh, what kind of notification service we use is because in the order class we're saying that we have to pass any type of notification service and because we now have this abstraction this interface SMS sender and the email sender are both of type or implement the notification service so we can treat them uh, in the same way here we can pass either an SMS sender or we can pass an email sender so now if we place the order you can see here we're sending an email we're now passing an SMS sender and let's see what happens we get an SMS message okay and we, we were able to switch out this SMS uh, we were able to switch the uh, type of notification service that we used without having to modify this order class so in this improved example we have decoupled the order class from the specific implementation of the notification service 
allowing different implementations, for example, email sender or SMS notifier, SMS sender, whatever, to be easily substituted without modifying the order class. Uh, and this reduces coupling and improves the flexibility and maintainability of the code base.